we'll just be cruising. We'll cruise to the next site. I kind of want to cover most of the lake. It looks like something from science fiction, a metal monster stalking its prey in the shallows of a moonlit lake. We do it at night because most of the fish come up to the shallows or in the shallows in the evening and at night, um, and we get higher catch rates. It looks like science fiction, but it's purely science fact. This is a, a boat electrofisher. We actually have a generator on the boat which produces the electricity that'll be running while we're fishing. So we're actually putting uh, electricity into the water and it just stuns the fish. Electrofishing is a safe and effective tool that Game and Fish uses to survey fish populations. The whole point of the survey is to catch the fish without harming them. We're pulling them out as fast as possible of the water and they're usually revived by the time we get them in the live well. They're nice and swimming around in there. This particular survey at Willow Springs Lake is focused exclusively on tiger trout. That's a tiger trout. Tiger! When another species like this bass is scooped up by mistake, it's immediately released. There's a rainbow. I'll let him go. You guys ready? Yeah. 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 Every 30 minutes, the biologists cut the power and start measuring fish. Yeah, look at him. Three, four, one. So we've got a species code, which I'm using TIGR uh, for tiger trout, and then I have the length in millimeters and the weight in grams. Here's a good one. Tiger trout are new to Arizona. In the summer of 2016, Game and Fish stocked them into four Arizona lakes, Carnero and Becker in the White Mountains, Woods Canyon and Willow Springs Lake on the Mogollon Rim. It's now November and biologists are collecting data to serve as a baseline for when they do this again in the spring. 122. We're surveying the tiger trout this time of year to figure out how healthy they're going to be going into the winter. Game and fish biologist Sally Petrie says there's a lot to learn about tiger trout and their ability to survive and thrive in Arizona's lakes. About 7,300 tiger trout were stocked into Willow Springs Lake. It also got about 51,000 rainbow trout. So tigers accounted for about 14% of all fish stocked here in 2016. We're trying to give our anglers just something else to fish for other than our regular rainbow trout. Tiger trout, are they're a cross between a brook trout and a brown trout. Tiger trout are a sterile hybrid that cannot reproduce. They're aggressive feeders, which can make them especially fun to catch. I'm doing some angler surveys, kind of just asking people, hey, how are you liking fishing for tiger trout? What are you catching them on? And people really like them. They think they look really cool, and they do look really cool. Um, and they, they say that they are more, more aggressive on the line. So they're a little bit more of a fight to get in the boat, which is, which is fun. Yeah, these tiger trout are real fun fish to catch. Earlier in the day, Nick Walter, who edits the weekly fishing report for Game and Fish, was at Willow Springs Lake hoping to hook one of the new arrivals. They'll chase down your lures. Anything like a panther martin or a cast master or a rooster tail. And it's perfect for fly fishing. Oh, beautiful tiger trout. It's the first one I've ever caught, so first tiger. They're aggressive fish. They'll chase down your fly, so... Tiger trout and fly fishing is a win-win out here. Ready? Back on the boat, the first half hour of electro fishing was Good productive. Job. You got them. Uh, so we got 15 tiger trout, which is pretty exciting. We're doing pretty good for tonight so far. But it got even better. The best half hour produced 32 tiger trout, and a grand total of 99 were surveyed by the time the team finished its work around midnight. 244. The average size of the tiger trout was 10.7 inches and about half a pound. The smallest was 8.8 .8 inches, not quite a quarter pounder, and the biggest was just under a pound and slightly more than 13 inches long. There's no telling how the tiger trout will do here during the winter, but we should find out in the spring when these researchers are back chasing tigers in their stunning 
Science Machine.